Why do gargoyles have wings when they can't fly? Gargoyles are bipedal, slow-moving animals that lurk on rooftops and eat pigeons. The rumors of gargoyles being magical construct are false, in truth they're just animals that have adapted to urban environments. By nature, the gargoyles are ambush predators, they have thick, craggy hide that gives them a stone-like texture, and they can remain motionless for very long periods of time. They typically perch on high places, such as buildings or trees. They are good climbers, but also slow-moving similar to sloths. They have no natural predators simply because they're too difficult to eat. However, these gargoyles are also known for having wings. Two small wings protrude from their shoulder blades, with a limited range of flexibility. These wings are completely non-functional for flight, the wings are far too small and the body far too heavy to ever be airborne. So the question is, if not for flight, why else would gargoyles evolve wing-like appendages? What other evolutionary purpose would result in gargoyles having these seemingly decorative wings? Targeting. Your gargoyles are the modern descendants of creatures whose main mode of predation was dropping from trees into the heads of unsuspecting passers-by. The wings don't aid in flight but, like the tail of a dart, they do provide a tiny amount of control in where the rapidly descending gargoyle lands. This is critical for a slow predator like the gargoyle. It can't chase after its prey. It either hits first time or goes hungry. If the prey shifts or the initial drop was a touch off then the wings provide correction as the bulky predators descend. Gargoyles without the wings simply miss and go hungry. Of course, it's pointless to evolve these wings further. The gargoyles aren't looking to glide or fly properly, they just need a tiny touch more control and that's enough. Of course sexual selection means that the gargoyle with the most ornate yet petite wings gets the best mates, so.